Hello everyone, I'm Gustavo Tolosa, the Start Solution Coach, and um, well, it's been a while. The last time I did a Facebook Live, I think it was in November when I was in Costa Rica. Now I am in Argentina, where we are in quarantine. This is my ninth day of being inside. Oh, wait a minute. Let me put some disinfectant here. And, well, you know, it is a challenge. Please say hello and see who's here. Um, I see people joining me. Thank you for coming. I haven't used Facebook Live in a while, so forgive me for my... Okay. Um, so everything is calm. I am in a very, very small village, a uh, very quaint village up in the mountains of Cordoba, Argentina. And everybody is really following the rules. So we are okay so far. But I just wanted to do a little bit of, um, it's not a reality show because it's not showing every day what I'm doing, but a little, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing right now and what I was doing. I'm, I want to show you one of my um, recipes that has gotten the attention of a lot of people. And that is the, my grandma's polenta, baked polenta. I hope you are all doing okay. I can't see any comments for some reason. I um, don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. Please forgive me uh, if I don't see your comments. I don't see anything, but uh, I know you're here. So before this all started, I was busy practicing the piano for concerts, all of which, <laughs> all of which have been canceled or postponed. And um, but that's okay. Hey, well, uh, I'll, I keep practicing and hoping that everything at some point will be back to normal. Uh, I was also working on Musical Angels, which is a nonprofit organization that I started several years ago, and I was it's an organization that provides music lessons, piano lessons, and guitar lessons to children who are in a hospital. Hi, Cindy. Good. At least I know someone is is uh, hearing me. Okay, and um, but that's also. Uh, on the pause because I can't go inside a hospital or inside a school right now. Um, I was also excited because I had taken up my French classes again. I was going, going to the French Alliance and planning to take level two of the DELF exam. I had my, I have my books here getting ready, but now this is on hold. Well, I guess I can study on my own but um, there are no classes and they haven't put anything online yet. What else? I was doing some home projects. I, re I wanted to redo the kitchen and doing some things out in the yard. That's on hold also. And well, I was doing webinars and that's pretty much all that has stayed because I can do them online. So uh, the webinars, the webinars and the cooking classes will continue. So that was before the coronavirus. And now what's going on now? Well, I am working hard, putting pretty much the entire music school that I have in Dallas, the Dallas Music Academy online so that students can take lessons. So that's a very big project that keeps me busy a lot of hours of the day. I also do webinars with different people, um, doctors, uh, chefs, uh, psychologists, <laughs> psychiatrists. And um, I wanted to remind you that uh, there are a lot of free webinars that I have um, that I have done during these 
like 12 years, I guess, since, or more, no, how many, no, 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 not that many, since 2013, um, so about seven years that I've been doing webinars. And um, there are, in this page, if you keep going down and down, looking everywhere, there, I have put so much free content. There are so many recipes and cooking demos and things like that, and they're all free for you. Please look at that. Um, if you send me an email, I'm going to send you an email with all the free cooking demos that I've done with different chefs. And uh, I think you would really enjoy them. They're, they're great. And uh, some of, most of these people, chefs, they use simple um, ingredients and the food tastes just divine. Uh, let's see what else I have been doing. So my email is born for number four health. So B O R N number four health H E A L T H at gmail.com. Or you can email me also at um, Gustavo at Gustavo Tolosa.com. Either one. Um, so, I also spend quite a bit of time cooking since I have a little more time in my hands and I love, 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 love to cook besides my passion for music, for piano, um, my other passion is uh, cooking. So, I've done so many webinars with so many amazing chefs and I have read so many books and I have cooked so so many recipes that I consider myself a pretty good amateur chef. So I try a different recipe every day. Um, the day before the quarantine started here, I went to pick up my mother and my aunt, who is also my godmother, uh, from the city uh, to spend three or four days here. But that same night, the quarantine was declared and so they're here. I have an apartment in the back of the house, um, a private apartment, and they're staying there. And actually, it's pretty good. <laughs> I cook for them. They, I, I, uh, they chop stuff for me so that I don't have to chop it. Then I cook it, we eat it, and then they clean it. So, hey, what else can I ask for? Um, and... Uh, then, like tonight, here is 8.06 p.m. Uh, in, in Argentina. And so tonight, after this, we're going to have dinner. And then every night we watch a different movie. Let's see, tonight, what did I bring tonight? Um, well, I had them here. They disappeared. I don't know where they are. But we'll choose a few movies. In the apartment that I have in the back, I'm so excited that I got a 9.7 in booking.com and it's called Preludio. And I have it there and I have it in Airbnb. And if you ever wanna come visit me, it's very inexpensive to, once you're here, because the dollar is has a very good exchange. So. It's just a matter of getting here and then I'm going to cook for you every single meal and we'll have fun. Um, just so that you know, for example, um, look at this bill. It's 500 but it's not $500. This is, um, let's see, how much is that? Uh, $1 is 80 pesos. So $10 would be, so this is less than $10. A thousand is probably like, I don't know, like 12, 13 dollars, something like that. So once you're here, you can, uh, you can have a lot of fun with very little money. Anyway, that's what I got from Booking. We have a really good, nice apartment and it's, and, just like a little storybook town, just very cute. And um, I think you would love it if you like nature. What else am I doing these days? Uh, well, I'm, I'm practicing, I'm practicing the piano. I have very difficult music to, to learn to, for these concerts that I hope are gonna happen soon. 
Um, now, also wanted to let you know that I will do my first uh, Gustavo uh, cooking webinar. Um, it's going to be all my recipes uh, and one of them, it really is uh, just to die for and it is my uh, grandmother's recipe for baked polenta which I have made it for tonight because it's a kind of a cold night and I'm going to show you. It's coming out of the oven and it smells great. So I'm going to show you that. I'm planning to put in this cooking webinar a breakfast that I call Warrior's Breakfast because boy, this gives you energy and you can fight just about anything that comes your way with this webinar is a combination of grains and things that and fruit that I think you'll love. It gives you energy for a long time. And, um, so that's going to be one which you can have for breakfast or lunch or dinner or for dessert or for snack. But of course, I'm, I'm showing it as a breakfast. Then I'm going to show you a very easy three ingredient salad that you, that you can have warm or cold and it involves potatoes of course for our starch and it's delicious you, like i said you could even have it for breakfast and um hi sherry and janet love to see you here thank you for coming and um that's number two number three in main dish is this just amazing polenta and number four it's going to be a dessert that is three desserts in one and it involves sweet potatoes. It's just basically two ingredients, but I think you're going to love it. I think you're really going to love it. And this dessert can also be a snack um, and it can be dessert. So that's going to be the webinar. It's going to be four recipes. Well, if you count the, the dessert, which is three, it's going to be like seven. But and um, I will charge a very small fee it's gonna be five dollars and i really don't mean this to to make money off this uh, make tons of money it's just that i have been filming since monday and it's friday already and it's not done yet it just takes so much time to film these guys and to then uh, prepare them the pre-production then go buy all the stuff and then and cook it and then film it and then edit it and then convert the file so that you can upload it etc etc so um, I'm just gonna charge a very small fee of five dollars and you're going to get the access to the video forever and you're gonna get the printed or the written recipes Please don't complain. If you complain, if you want to complain, just don't write. Just don't, don't, don't sign up. Okay. Um, no, like I said, that if you want free, I will send you free. I have tons of really, really good webinars that are for free, and I'm going to send them all to you. Just send me an email if you want the free webinars, and if you want to sign up for this the um, low fee uh, webinar that I'm going to plan, uh, send me an email to gustavo at gustavo tolosa, T -O -L -O -S -A dot com or at bornforhealth at gmail.com. Born, B O R N, number four, health, H E A L T H at gmail.com. And I'm going to send you the registration form so you can sign up for this one webinar. And if you're really, really struggling financially and you cannot afford the $5, just send me an email and we'll see if I can donate a few. Okay, so um, let's see, guys, what else? Um, well, here, so there are four people. This is my partner and my mother and my aunt. And we're really doing very well together. Uh, every day is a learning experience and um, I walk at least one time a day. It's beautiful. Um, thank you, Sherry. And um, you know what? I, am, I, I, I don't want to show an image that is not real. I, 
I struggle like all of you guys. I'm not this perfect doctor or chef or, or dietitian or psychologist or anybody that, um, you know, never has a craving or anything like that or never falls off the wagon. I struggle too. Uh, my weakness is bake <laughs> bakeries and you know what? There's a bakery in every block in this country. I think this is Argentina is actually a bakery disguised, disguised, disguised as, a, as a country. And they have, it's, it's a lot of European uh, based type of pastry so, and, and, and breads. So that is a weakness and so sometimes I fall. Uh, I still don't eat, I do not eat dairy or any kind of meat, any poultry or fish or, or, or any kind of meat. Um, I don't use oil, so um, it's a starch-based diet, and I do eat sometimes bread and pasta, and I don't know, it may, pasta, who knows, maybe once a month, you know, it's, and it's just, it's, it's uh, no cheese, nothing, it's just with marinara sauce, and then sometimes I, I have uh, some bread, and I go to a bakery where it's all organic and whole wheat and all that, but I know that I shouldn't, uh, I should be careful with that, and I am careful, but sometimes I get cravings, and what I do is I make sure that I always have something compliant in that refrigerator or somewhere in, in the counter, so that when I have this attack, like I call it, I have something to grab. Um, let's see. Wow, pizza is another thing that I love, 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 and I make a pizza that, that is so thin and is so loaded with veggies that it's um, it's really veggies on top of a very crust, thin crust. I'm trying to convince my mother to do a webinar with me where she can show you how to make gnocchis, but without the egg and the milk and all that. The gnocchis is a potato-based pasta that is just delicious. And so hopefully I can do that in my next webinar. Um, sometimes when I struggle, one of the things I do besides having compliant food here, I go and I look at a picture of myself when I was more than 60 pound, pounds overweight. And usually that does it because I don't want to be that person. And um, um, so that, that kind of does it for me to look at that and to, and to remember what it felt like to always go into a store and go just straight to the XXL sizes and it was just, Awful. And also the way that I felt physically. Um, well, what else, guys? Uh, this 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 time has made me think a lot about things. Like, you know, I definitely am not ready to die yet. So this coronavirus is not gonna win. But you know, even if I was to die, I I've done so much. I have lived several lives in one and I have had so much um, so many rewards in life and um, but and th that's something that I've always been afraid of to, to, to get to the end if you're conscious conscious at the end of your life and to, to think at that moment um, that you could have done more or that or that you kind of wasted your time here. So I definitely don't feel that. I definitely don't. And um, so that's good. But I still have a lot that I want to do. It's not gonna get. Easy. It's not gonna be easy to get rid of Gustavo. Um, I wanted to also remind you that I have a new website for my profession uh, as a pianist, and that is gustavotolosa.com, G-U-S-T-A-V-O-T-O-L-O-S-A.com, and it is now in both languages, in English and Spanish. And there is a section there where you can watch uh, some videos of me playing, and there's some recordings and pictures, and uh, I plan to upload more soon. 
Um, so I invite you to go there. I also invite you to go to my YouTube channel. If you go to YouTube and you type my name, you'll get to my channel. And it would help me if you go and you subscribe and click on the little bell so that you will be notified. Um, so let's see, I think that that's, oh, well, you know, one, I, I was planning to, I live kind of in between. I live sometime here, sometime, I live some part of the time in, in the U.S. when I go back, which I have my ticket for May 10th, but I don't know if that's going to happen. But when I'm back there, if any of you would find a concert for me, even if it's a home concert or in a church or in a library or anywhere, I will be so happy to do a fun concert with some uh, easy to listen music and I could even do a, a cooking demo for you and your friends and your family or um, both things. So just keep that in mind. Let me know. Now you have my email. And um, well, if you're bored <laughs> and besides cooking, you want to learn how to play the piano, let me know. I'm giving people piano lessons online now. If you want to learn how to play the guitar, or voice lessons, or violin, let me know. And through the Dallas Music Academy, now we're doing online lessons all over the world. Um, well, anyways, I think that's it. Think about questions if you have any, and I'm going to the oven to get the polenta out of the oven. Hold on, I'm going to show you. Look at this beauty. Look at all, there are three layers here and it's all crisp and brown and, it, and I added um, spinach on top with sauteed garlic and it has marinara sauce and all sorts of um, magic ingredients. So I'm gonna put it here. And I am going to cut it Creamy, just delicious. I was able to put something that makes it like cheese, but it's not, of course. And boy, is this going to be a treat. I'm sorry, I don't mean, <laughs> I don't mean to be mean. I just want to try it right here in front of the camera. I have this mm, piece that has that crispiness in it, crunchy. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh, wow. Well, look at that. You guys need, you need this because then the next day is even better. <laughs> my mom and my partner and my aunt are sitting there and they're drooling. <laughs> so I, let me stop eating. I promised them 
that this would not go over 30 minutes. Mm. Well, and if you saw that dessert that is in the oven with, with sweet potatoes, applesauce, and pineapple, you would die. But I don't want you to die. So hold on until I have this webinar ready. It's gonna be ready in just a few, just a couple of days. Um, if you want it, please send me an email so that I can, uh, or write it in the comments here. And, um, but send me an email, that's probably easier. And I will send you, if you want the free webinars with the written recipes as well. And I will send you the link to register for this webinar. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know, let me see. Um, any questions here? Uh, I bought polenta a few weeks ago, but have not made it yet. You look, your looks divine. It really is divine. And thank you, grandma. I love you. She was my angel on this earth and she would make this. It did have cheese, of course, but this one now I have, mastered it i've mastered it and it doesn't need cheese actually i think cheese would ruin it um you guys have any questions for me about it? anything food or music or just life anything uh how about five more minutes and then um we'll stop but if you have any questions i'll be glad to take them uh, let's see, tomorrow, actually tomorrow is what? Every day seems to be the same. Tomorrow is Saturday. Hola Gustavo, que bueno verte. Oh, Monica. Oh, Monica. I hope you're understanding. The webinar that I'm gonna do is also going to be in Spanish. El webinar que voy a hacer con la comida también va a estar en español. Um, well, let's see. Yeah, sure. You can meet them. Uh, uh, a ver, let's see. Nune, ando buscando la mano. Um, yes, my, my mom went out to the apartment to get something and back in. I'll, I'll show them to you. I'll show them to you. And they really are sweet. They're very sweet. They put up with a crazy person, which is me. I call myself a damaged specimen. Um, doing my doctorate damaged me mentally and, and emotionally and psychologically many years ago. And But hey, at least I am, well, I don't know. Maybe I think I'm fun or funny, but maybe I'm not. Maybe everybody hates me. Who knows? But... I just, I just have fun as much as possible. Uh, I don't get mad easily. It's very difficult for you to see me upset. Come here. A ver, vengan, que la gente las quiere conocer. Y todas. This is my mother. Hi. Many para acá. And this is my aunt. Hey. Hola. Hi. Richard. <laughs> Richard, they want to meet you. Well, I don't know where he is. No, this is a Facebook Live. There are a lot of people. It's not just one person. Oh, okay. okay. I, I don't think they know what a Facebook Live is, but um, just say hi like this. So this now you you've seen everyone. This is Richard. Okay, so Richard, my mother is Raquel. And my aunt yeah, and, and godmother. <laughs> uh, oh, oh my god, I touch her! <laughs> oh, <laughs> Give me your hand. The, we haven't touched each other in nine days. Oh wow. Okay, we're 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 okay. history. Okay. Her name is Blanca. Blanca Lydia. Yeah. Okay. So, we'll see you soon when I, in a few days, I'm going to have this webinar. And they w took part in it because they were chopping the machines and they helped so much. I should share my little $5 
income with them. So yeah, they're very cute. You, they really are. So thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Send me an email. Bye-bye.